And there we go. Hello, hello to the YouTubes and things whenever this eventually gets uploaded. Or now on the stream, I guess. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's try some Sims 2 Castaway. I have no idea. Is this just the, like, DLC? Because, like, the Sims 2 Castaway, okay, I don't know a ton about old Sims. I mean, I don't know a ton, a ton about Sims in general. I have played Sims 3 and Sims 4 a bit, but not with all the DLC or anything. But isn't this just, like... Why can I not start a new game? Oh, there we go. Isn't Castaway just a DLC pack or whatever, an expansion pack for The Sims 2? So is this like just The Sims 2, but with that or only the stuff in the content pack? Maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, the, the other Sims games for PS2 all kind of like had their own thing going on. So it very well could be that with like its own story mode and stuff. I'm kind of hoping that's what it's what it is. I mean, this is all obviously themed, you know, with the create a crew here, which I don't think is how it worked on on the PC version. Um, <laughs> they're not really any different. I keep expecting like their face or body type or something to change. But it really is just changing their hair. <laughs> is it changing their eyes or anything? Hair and skin tone is the only thing I'm seeing change. It doesn't even change like their gender or anything. No. Okay, well I guess we'll play a Doom. Uh, I hope we get a couple more options. We're just gonna go into customize <laughs> and see what we can actually change. Bonus bodies. Okay. Occupation. Oh, we just, we get to just like straight up pick our occupation here instead of having to go through the like either the phone or the newspaper or computer or whatever. Chef, musician, doctor, ranger, teacher, mechanic, executive. Um, do we want to be a ranger? I mean, like if we're on the islands and stuff like that, because I'm assuming that's what Castaway, it's all about like islands i feel like being a ranger would be kind of cool mechanic maybe we can like fix up a boat or something like that okay are street level scientists who excel at diagnosing and repairing the mechanical failures of sophisticated machinery hmm. how fancy i don't want to be an executive chef would be fine musician doctor i think ranger man Rangers actively manage entire regions of forests and rangelands, making them particularly well suited for the physical strain of working outdoors. Inexplicably drawn to knee socks, rangers nevertheless benefit from an aura of physical confidence, enabling them to effectively assist people or animals in crisis. I mean, that sounds nice. We can help out the animals and things. Why not? Oh, there's only two different body types. That's why, <laughs> that's why I didn't really notice. With the morph body, do we get more control over it yeah them legs do be tiny wow no okay there's really not much changing you can do here <laughs> sure that's that's perfect it's <laughs> it's literally just just the tummy it just, it just either pushes out the tummy or sucks the tummy in okay let's just put everything on max i'm down for it that's beautiful. Oh, that just reset it, didn't it? Well, that's lame. We'll probably just go with... Okay, one's a little... That's like very white. One is a little bit better, I guess. I mean, out of these options, I guess I would be closest to like a one. Maybe even a five, actually. I don't know. I'm just looking at myself on camera there. Uh, anyways, let's just do one. One and back to morph body, I guess, since that reset everything. My fault. I should have known that changing that option would. Seems kind of kind of obvious in hindsight. Morph head. Okay. What happens if we just like... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is just... Oh, okay. They're actually different eye types. I thought they were all going to be the same. No, they're different. Um, Something like that, I guess. Maybe, like, in the middle-ish there. Nose. It's... 
guess like kind of here-ish. I don't know, man. We can have some really purdy lips or some really small lips. Probably just gonna go kind of middle-ish. It's weird because it goes like kissy face and then slims it back down. <laughs> so it's just like plump, kiss, here in the middle, and then back to thin. It's a weird slider. Uh, let's, I don't know, yeah, just like middle-ish, I guess. What's this, chin? See, it's the same thing here. Like, it goes out, goes out, goes out, and then it goes back. <laughs> it's such a weird slider. Sure, that's... <laughs> Why not? That looks beautiful. Hairstyle. What kind of options do we have here? We got the hawk, of course. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one. Everybody loves the mohawk, right? Uh, we have, like, your typical douche haircuts. Um, what's this? I don't know why, but that just makes me think of a parrot. Is that is that is that what the, the inspiration there for that is? So one of those looked a little bit like Harry Potter. Not this one. The one next to it. This one. This one makes me think of Harry Potter. I'm not sure why. Not once it's on the head. <laughs> not even a little bit. Once it's on the head. But in the little picture. On the head, it's it's no. Um, I guess just the full head of hair. Sure. What colors do we have available? Black, red, like a brownish, brunettish color, and then very blonde. I guess. I guess the brownish, brunettish. Sure. Done. Perfect. Fashion. Do we have like a beanie? I think. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a beanie for the dude. Is that what this is? What is this? Oh no, that's a baseball cap. It's kind of hard to tell from these little tiny pictures. <laughs> I can't remember what these are called, but we could we could wear one of these, man. I don't. If this seems to kind of suit him, honestly. No though. Um. Is th this is a beanie, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Is there anything like just plain? No, it's all just like fire or stripes. Maybe we just we just don't wear anything on our head. I think I think that's fine. We do definitely need glasses though because your boy be blind as fuck. So this dude's blind as fuck. That's similar-ish to what I wear. This is not even like close to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a solid no for me. We can get the monocle. Is that <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, sure, just like the ones that are closest to what I wear, I guess, is what we're gonna have to go with. These ones. Color, we have like bluish, silver, like purple-esque? I like purple, why not? Facial tattoos? Do we have to, we must have to unlock them or something. It's weird that the menu's there when it, oh. I think we broke the game. Okay, try this again. Just hit back a couple of times. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> just rock the, the Abe Lincoln here. They're just a full beard by any chance. There we go. This one. Does it actually change the eyebrows too? It does. That's that's a, blah, blah, that's a fashion choice right there. Um, I think it just just full beard, man. Is it the same color options? Yeah. Oddly though, not like the same color. I mean, it's close, but it looks a little bit darker. I mean, I realize that obviously beards and hair aren't usually the same exact color, but I usually think of beards being a little bit lighter. All right, tops. What do we have? Do we have just like a hoodie or anything? No. We have a tucked in shirt, an untucked shirt. What is this? Is that like golf clubs? Oh no, it's a, okay, it's a spatula and a chef's hat. All right, that's fair. 
No different options for that one. That's too bad. So it's just like a regular black tee. It's got a simple design on it. Honestly, though, it might end up just being the button-up that we started with. Although, the first one we looked at, which one? This one? This one wasn't too bad. Yeah, I kind of wish we had, like, different options for it, but I can dig it. Definitely not doing the shorts, though. I can't, can't deal with shorts. Jeans? Jeans are okay. The... <laughs> Mm. The model looks a little weird here, maybe, but, you know, it's a PS2 game. It's fine. I don't think it helps that, like, the back of these these legs sticks out so far because of the big-ass pockets in the jeans. But it looks like we're bow-legged or something, man. Like, we're, we're arching it, you know? <laughs> Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Love, appreciate you. What about just, like, cargo pants instead of cargo shorts? I guess all the pants kind of like stick out in the back like that, huh? Yeah, probably. What are these ones here? Okay, so that's just like a normal pair of jeans. Sure, why not? Shoes, I actually don't hate the shoes. These like Converse knockoffs. Kinda, yeah. I think I might like the other ones better, though. Just the regular, like, shoe shoes. Sure. That looks good enough to me. I didn't realize there were accessories still. Do we have a watch? I wear a watch. Which hand does it go on? Left. What? Oh, it just switches arms. I was... <laughs> I was like, uh, the style is just invisible. That's that's the type of watch we're wearing, I guess. What are you? Are you just like a regular belt? It's weird that there's a belt, like, texture on the pants. And then we just wear a belt over the belt. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a little odd to me, I guess. But it's fine. What kind of personality do we have here? Um... I assume, though, if we change any of this, it's going to, like, change our sign. Because I'm a Capricorn, but I would say more, like, in the middle-ish here. I don't... I'm not an extrovert by any means. Um, but I wouldn't exactly call myself shy, either. I do a lot of stuff. I can be lazy, but... Yeah, I'm more playful than serious most of the time. I don't think I'm a very grouchy person. I feel like I'm a little bit nicer. We'll, we'll be a little more on the lazy side. We'll be a little more nice. We'll go ahead and go a little bit more shy. And a little more playful, maybe? Something like that? So apparently, according to the game, we're meant to be a Taurus. <laughs> Sure, why not? That can be that can be my sign. I don't really care. Why does the game know my name? <laughs> Man, I don't know like if we put that in if on one of the uh other Sims games if we put in Chris or if it was just cuz super generic name. Sh newbie, sure. Wait, so can we have more than one sim? Okay, there he goes. I thought it, like, died. I don't think I want more than one, <laughs> especially not starting out. You know, I struggle with sims, man, honestly. Uh, sure, we'll save. I've never been particularly good at sims games. When I get more than one or two sims that I have to take care of, everything just starts catching on fire, and it just ends up being a bad time for everybody, honestly. So it's probably best if we just keep it to the one for now until we figure out what the hell is actually going on with the game. Design fat. Oh, shit. What do we get? Oh, look at that picture on that early ass cell phone. That's beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Bo doesn't look too bad. I like Bo. He did a good job, love.
Oh no! Storming. Ah, we're falling overboard and our phone's dying all at the same time. How unlucky, man. That's, that's terrible. We went in, dude. What? How did we even lose? Did you see that other one? Bruh, Bo was so much better than whatever that other one's name was. We should have won that easy. I think Bo deserves a treat anyways, even though they didn't win. The other one obviously cheated somehow. So we have direct control of the sim, like movement and everything. Your sim has shipwrecked. Learn to survive. Find your way home. Can also control the camera here. Probably prefer to go like all the way zoomed out if it lets us stay that way. More Sims like classic slim, slim Sims esque. It's Moneywell's big book of survival. This will help your Sim survive. Do you want to read it and play the tutorial? Sure. No, oh, thanks for giving Bo a taco. I'm sure he appreciates that. Survival tip number one: Look around using R. This will move the camera. Okay. Do I? How do I? Okay. Gather supplies. Nature is bountiful. Find and harvest anything you can off the beach or nearby trees. So are we playing a survival game? <laughs> is that is that actually what's going on here? It's more than one action. Use, okay, D-pad to select one. Are we actually eating right now? Oh, we are. Wait, is that not a coconut? Are we just eating the skin and everything? Harvest palm fronds. Sure, maybe we can like build a shelter or something out of the palm fronds. Okay, we have one. Do we keep collecting them? It looks like it. Can we see any like info on our on our sim? What they're happy with, unhappy with, etc. Did I even select the right thing? I meant to select personal info, but I don't know if I hit the right button or not. I did. Okay, relationships, job, skills. So we have no skills outside of a little bit of a body, as the game calls it. I imagine that's just like strength or something. Is this cancelable or does it just keep going until it's done? Press start and choose inventory. Yeah, I know what we collected. We collected a bunch of palm fronds. There are exactly 1,001 uses for palm fronds, but if you discover a new one, then that number will be bumped up to 100 or 1,002. That's uh, very true. Sleeping mat? I thought that said sleeping meat, and I was very confused. Narcoleptic sleep mat is almost medicinal. However, you'll probably just use it during overnight hikes. Pocket knife, keep it in your pocket, keep it on a shelf. Pocket knife is handy, try not to, until you cut yourself. And some toilet paper, reacquaint yourself with the comforts of softness and you'll never go bark again. We have our clothes on our body. I'm assuming we don't have any kind of fish or anything on us, no. Okay, we have some stuff. Ooh, bamboo, yes. Can we try and eat the bamboo? <laughs> would, the, would the game be okay with that? I mean, I don't believe people are meant to eat bamboo, but... Survival tip three, eat. <laughs> this is your hunger motive. Eating will keep it filled. If it reaches empty, the sim will starve. Check your hunger by pressing square. Okay. Oh, is it just gonna like unlock the different needs as the tutorial continues maybe? It seems like we only have the one option right now. Can I collect the driftwood? Driftwood could come in handy. I wonder, is there going to be like a whole crafting system here? Clamshell? Sure. And the driftwood. Grab that too. I'm assuming the fish are going to be scared of us, right? If we just like run out into the water here. Okay, yeah, we can't just grab them, so we must need to either craft something to collect them, or... I mean, nothing else really makes sense to me, so maybe we need to make, like, a spear or a fishing pole or 
something to be able to collect the fish. Is there a fast forward button? Ah, oh, there we go, R1. Survival tip four, sleep. This is your energy motive. Sleeping will keep it filled. Check your energy by pressing square and then using the sleeping mat from your menu. Wouldn't that like take us to daytime though? If we, or to daytime, to nighttime? I mean, we can't see the clock right now, but. Yeah, well, the game will not let us craft. I guess because we're not to that part of the tutorial. Bottled message? Anything cool? Get some sleep. Oh, give me a second. I want to read the message. Dear occupant, do you want to install aluminum siding, but you don't want to give your money to a bunch of aluminum siding fat cats who live in big fat cat mansions and drive big fat cat cars? We are at Super McSpeedy Siding Company understand your needs and want to build the aluminum house of your dreams. No fat cats allowed and at Super McSpeedy si Siding. <laughs> we do siding right. Okay, can we maybe keep that bottle and... Let's put it away, because maybe we could use that to collect water or something in the future. I wonder, do we have like a limited amount of space in our inventory? I would imagine. It would make sense. We're gonna end up getting this sim killed, man. I see it happening already. We're still very hungry, so let's eat another coconut. Maybe the, the green one will be a little more filling, a little more nutritious. Oh no, we peeled the other one. It probably started green too. Maybe eat the whole thing instead of just throwing half of it away, man. Your hunger bar's barely half full. Alright, fine. Uh, press circle to see your tools. Select the sleeping mat. Great, now go to sleep. Do yoga. <laughs> no, we'll, just, we'll just go to sleep, I guess. Whatever. We're following the tutorial. It's telling us what to do. I don't think it'll lead us astray, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, our sleep need really doesn't fill that fast, although I imagine the sleeping mat probably doesn't have the highest comfort level. I'm more surprised by how slow our hunger need went down. Survival tip number five, fire saves. The warmth of a fire will help you cook and make a place feel like home. Press start and go to plans, then build an emergency fire pit. Okay, uh, where do we want our fire? I kind of feel like we want it here-ish. Plan. What other plans do we have? Or is this all we know how to build right now? Fire pits and stoves? <clears throat> this looks like survival tools, chairs, beds, tables, miscellaneous. Decorations, shower, lighting, clothing. I don't know. I guess that'd be like rooms, walls, doors, windows, and roofs? I guess? I don't know. Motive benefits. Two for entertainment, one for comfort. Requires five driftwood. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's build a fire pit, man. Oh, okay. And then this takes us into like build mode more or less so we have a limit to how much we can build I'm, I, I'm thinking that's what that thing is over there on the the right triangle let's close x is place square moves the camera with us okay and circle oh cool circle gives us like a big grid does that mean like Anywhere in the, the non-red shaded areas, we can build this thing. We can just have it like in the middle of all this brush. That seems wild to me. Well, no, over where we're standing, though, is kind of more or less where we already picked would be a decent spot. Maybe as close to the beach as possible to give us more room in case we end up building a shelter or something. Now you need to actually build the fire. Walk over to the power resources, select build. 
Finish quicker by fast forwarding. Press and hold R1. Okay. Let go to return to normal speed. Light the fire. Basic survival complete. Check your mood mirror to see how your sim is doing. The better their mood, the more successful they will be. Excellent. Can we cook coconut? I mean, I know like people roast coconut and like sugar coat it and put it in cakes and things. But do you just cook like straight coconut? Make it easier to digest or anything? I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about coconut. To stay sane, your sim needs goals. Lost books on the island will tell them what to do. New plans! You can craft a simple shelter, a bamboo fishing spear, and other useful tools. A fishing spear sounds really handy. Tool plans. Bamboo spear. Okay, so we have everything we need, but we can only build it at the crafting bench. That makes a ton of sense. Is this driftwood? Pick it up. I'm assuming we don't have a carrying capacity, like a weight capacity. And we only have a, uh, like an inventory space capacity. We can also build rope out of sisal. I don't know what that is. Shell axe. I wonder what that does for us. We need to, like, defend ourselves? Can we chop trees for proper wood? So now that we have a spear, and I, like, here, pick up this, because we might want to make the axe at some point. Oh, and that seemed to put away the spear, so pull the spear back out. Dab. Wait. <laughs> okay. So do we need to, like, wait for them to jump? Or is it just luck? Oh, well, I think we scared him away. Presumably we have to, like, work at it, though, right? It's, it's not just, like, a skill that we instantly have. Been nice if the game explained a little bit how the fishing worked maybe it will at some point i mean it did say something about finding like books wait did i get it hey you speared a macro okay yeah so i think it's whenever they jump nice that called grouper oh wait that was behind me that it jumped uh, whatever. Okay, well, we got two fish. Can we cook one of them? Or sick. Get warm. Build home tiki? A home tiki. Like a teleport point or something? Add ingredient. The only thing we have right now are fish. We're pretty hungry, so maybe the speckled grouper? 8 comfort, 29 food, negative 8 to bathroom. After Aeon's evolution, this grouper has grown from freckled to speckled. Okay, well, with the campfire, it seems we can only use one ingredient at a time. I was wondering if we could use, like, coconut and fish together. I don't know. That's a great combination, but... Uh. So, roast medium fish satisfies 64 hunger, 8 energy, and eight, negative 8 bladder. Nice, okay. Oh, but we eat it instantly? Okay, so what's the home tiki? Declare home. Okay, okay. Can we cook coconut? I'm going to collect all this crap I see on the beach, but I know there's a couple coconut over there. I'm going to grab one of them. Let's see if we can cook it. Put an inventory instead of eating it directly. I would love to get our hunger bar up all the way. Wait, did something else show up there for a second? Oh, yep, there's a coconut. It's hiding in all this grass, but there's one there. What do the other buttons do? Anything? Oh, 
Oh, let's just select our different people. View action names, view all actions. Okay, so that lets us explore. I'm assuming by explore it just means go to like a different area. I feel like we should probably get a little more established here before we start venturing off into the wilderness. Plus, assuming we can cut down some of these these palm trees here, we should be able to build a whole little, like, not village, but a whole little shelter here and everything. Between all the driftwood and the, the palm fronds and the actual trees. We have access to the ocean for fish. I'm assuming this is the ocean. Bunch of bamboo. The only thing really we still need would be water, but... Wait, drink? Drink. Your bladder mode of eating makes it go down and using toilet paper or a toilet helps improve it. Wait, so is our toilet paper like... Clean up, I guess? Limited? So, hold on. <laughs> so is the coconut like only drinkable if we cook it are you all by yourself also you had a 60 streak if you didn't see it uh it would seem like it love and i didn't see it but that's awesome thank you 60 streams man well I me mean, more than that in all honesty it's just 60 that you know since they started tracking it i appreciate you for being here for damn near every stream you like mudslides? That's good. I'm glad you're liking your mudslides. I'm glad I got it for you, since you're enjoying it so much. Uh, pick up food. Wait. Wait, what kind of food? Oh, I'm so confused. Whatever. Um, Maybe we should try to go to sleep. Here. Gonna play some Animal Crossing and enjoy. Have fun with it, love. Here we should probably go ahead and like sleep through the night, right? Get our comfort thing up a little bit or our energy level or whatever up a bit. And then maybe have breakfast whenever morning comes and then we can try and explore the thing. Wait, why are we getting up? Are we only allowed to sleep for so long on our mat or... I don't want to get up yet. Sleep on ground. Can't believe Lily is missing this. She poked you around the time the stream started. She's probably busy. She's probably playing Power World or playing The Sims or something like that. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming we can only sleep like three quarters of our energy away. At least with this mat. Whenever we get, like, a proper bed or something, we can probably do more with it. Um, what do we do if we get warm? Does this increase any of our stuff? Doesn't seem to do anything for us. What about... Oh, I didn't mean to sit. Well... Ah, there's our comfort level, though. That's unlocked now. Might have actually been better to leave that the way it was so that, you know, we didn't have to deal with it longer but oh well this also isn't the most comforting thing in the world oh no our fire went out it's your comfort motive satisfy it with beds and chairs but can we just relight it or i mean i guess we can collect ash maybe we can use the ash for something make some soap okay uh light fire I wonder what happened if we try to cook a meal on a fire like this after it's dead. Is that... Is it gonna work? Aha! Look at that. 
Oh no, not sit. Wait, did I cancel it? Hey, okay, so you can damn it, dude. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, there's no option. I thought there was another option, but Oh, it was Stoke was the other one. I'm assuming that would just like keep the fire from going out if we had done that. Uh, well, our bladder need is getting pretty low. I guess maybe we should use some of this toilet paper. Ashes, the non-combustible remains of fire, often contain and potent blends of valuable non-biological nutrients. Fancy, okay. Tools, toilet paper. Use. Chocobo, hello, sir. Use some toilet paper. <laughs> I was wondering how they were going to handle that, the bathroom thing here, since we're just out in the middle of nowhere. Does it completely refill our bladder need like it does in normal sims when you use the toilet uh more or less at least okay well i think we're more more or less out of things to do here so let's uh explore the brambles i'm curious if it's gonna like actually teleport us to a new location or if it's just like something that happens I mean, you can't have a, a whole survival game take place on just this one little beach, so. I'm assuming it's going to take us somewhere. Explore the jungle. Done. Barriers like this take time and cost some of your energy. They can even damage your clothing. New plan, island clothes. Use a workbench to craft them and replace your tattered threads. Wait. Did we really spend all that time? Oh no, we spent all that time picking our clothes for the game to instantly be like, hey, guess what? Your clothes are ruined. <laughs> Enjoy. That's just rude. Okay, some vines. That could be useful as like a rope replacement or maybe to make rope. I think it's probably safe to assume at this point that this is nothing like the Sims 2 Castaway expansion, DLC, whatever you want to call it, on the PC. I find it hard to believe if it would be anything like this. Okay, well, I mean, considering I don't know what that is... Wait... What was I saying? Or like, considering I don't know how much of things we need to craft anything in the game, is what I was trying to say. I think 10 vines will probably be enough for now. Oh, uh, I didn't know by identify it was just gonna pop some in his mouth and try it. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. That's some mandrake root. Okay, can I harvest it without eating it? Maybe I can use it to make something in the future. Yes, okay. So we just have to eat things to begin with. So I'm assuming none of the plants are just going to like instant murder us whenever we try to identify it. What are these? Are these like... Are those bananas? At first I was thinking maybe papaya. It looks a little bit like a star fruit. Could be a star fruit, I guess. Yeah, star fruit. Look at me go. I know things. Star fruit are okay. They're like a uh, slightly sweet and sour cucumber, <laughs> but in the shape of a star. They're interesting. The pow poo. <laughs> Every time I see a star fruit, I do think of the pow poo. I can't help it. Cucumbers? Hell yeah, dude. Gonna have ourselves a whole salad here soon. It'd be nice if we had, like, a better way of cooking. Because now I just want to make a <laughs> cucumber starfruit salad. <laughs> I mean, they taste similar enough. I don't think it would be terrible. You've increased the skill. Practice makes perfect. You can see your skills under personal info. I wonder if food goes bad. Like, should we just keep collecting all of this food now, or should we be leaving it lay in the world until we until we actually need it? Yeah, our energy levels are starting to go down, though. Is there anything new we can identify, or unknown bush? It doesn't look good, whatever it is. 
Yep, nope. Definitely wasn't good. Privet? Harvest for the future? Can't yeah, but notice that our energy is like halfway down too. Which makes me very weary about pushing forward to the pier beach. I mean, if it's another beach though, we'd probably be fine to keep moving forward. Is that, that's a skeleton. What's a rattan, a rattan? Rat We're hacking away at it. Is it some sort of like bushy leafy thing? Or is it a food? Oh. oh, it's what they make the clothing out of. Okay. Another unknown bush. I'm sure it's fine. All the random unknown plants we've eaten so far have been absolutely delicious. Might as well try some more. No? No. <laughs> oh, they're poke berries. Okay. They're, uh... Those are some delicious foods right there. Unknown tree? Wait, how do we identify the tree? Oh, we just grab something off of it and eat that too? <laughs> That's a hell of a way to identify things. You know, not inspect it or anything like that. Just straight throw it in your mouth. Cannonball fruit? I've definitely never heard of those before. I wonder what happens if our energy just runs out. Do we just instantly pass out where we are, or do we die? Uh, identify unknown plant. I don't know, man. Oh, some bananas. Okay, you know what? We can come back. But I feel like we need to get our energy level up. Because apparently traveling between areas costs energy. So I feel like we should get back to a beach. Although, oh, well, too late. I walked into it. I guess that's all it needed to, to load. Um, what was I saying? Oh, no, since we're just using our sleeping mat, we probably could have just slept on the ground here. Probably could have even built a fire and just like temporary, temporarily set up base there, but... Your sim has found shipwrecked by Lord Reginald Sticky Wick. <laughs> it has more goals for your sim. What? Oh, is it a book? It's a book. Okay. We actually read the book? Is it an actual thing or like inventory? I mean, regardless, having the the extra goals should help us out. Lily, hello. We were wondering if you were going to come in and see the sims or not. Hydrate. Resources. Fine. Mandrake root. Forever associated with magic mandrake root rates a 10 on the Fumigato scale of creepiness? Yeah, it's a little different than the sims that I'm sure you've played in the past, but... Ripe privet berries are so delicious you can almost taste the purple. Unlike bamboo, rattan is not hollow and it needs to climb other plants in order to maintain growth. Message in a bottle, yeah. Cannonball fruit. Perfume fragrance of this tree's flowers below the poisonous nature of its toxic fruit. Good. The berry that gives so much, like intense vomiting and brilliant purple lips. Mmm. Okay. No objects. We didn't actually get, like, a book book. But we did get some goals, right? Yeah. Uh, so we completed all of these ones, except for... Okay, so we still need to make a shelter. Befriend a chimp, use chimp to gather. This is the journal of Lord Reginald Wayne Scott, Sticky Wick, Vaughn Dawsonwald, 37th Earl of Biscuit, and his documentation of the proceedings of the first expedition of the HMS Poodle under the command of Captain J. Artemis Mogg. As noted in an earlier journal, we have shipwrecked on an island and have established a small settlement awaiting rescue. Today, we discovered we were not alone when we met a small furry man who had shocking disregard for our lavatory. <laughs> nice, okay. So I'm still curious what setting up a home does. 
Huh. Home tiki or whatever. I guess maybe we should have tried that before we, we left the starting area. Room motive. This your room motive? Keeping your sims living in style will ensure a good score. Hmm, I shouldn't have used that. <laughs> it's just going to be another need for us now. Well, we can steal that, I guess. Make our own room look a little nicer whenever we get around to it. Jump here. Just like another room motive thing or something? <clears throat> oh, new goal is there's more than one island. Getting there is your sim's new goal. New plans raft. Okay. Ooh, cherries. All kinds of foods and stuff here. Where does this go? Shipwreck Lagoon. So what do we... Is there... Can we make a bench here? Crafting bench? No, we only seem to be able to do that on our normal one. On, like, our starting island, whatever. But I assume if we go to plans, we can see what all we need for... For the raft, right? The under tools? No. We can build an actual bed now? That would be nice. Driftwood and vine, we have everything we need for that. Yeah, I think we are gonna set up our, our actual, like, home on that last island. I mean, that's the only place where the crafting bench is, so... Special plants? There we go, raft. Places, tools, and skills. So we have to build it at the ancient pier. We need to level up our mechanical skill. And then it's just bamboo, vines, and palm fronds. Well, that's pretty easy. The hardest part's gonna be getting up our, our skills because I have no idea how to actually do that. So wait, we can craft a roof, but no... <laughs> but no walls? How does that work? Well, whatever. We still need to make an axe. So collecting more shells will be good for us. And then... We need, um... What was it? Banana leaves. So if we see another banana tree as we're running around, then... Those that would be pretty helpful. Oh, it's ginger. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how we increase our mechanic skill. Maybe just by crafting random things? Known bush. That looks suspiciously like the pokeberry bush that we were messing with before. I don't think that... Huh? Wait, are they grapes? Grapes don't grow on something that looks like that though, right? No, all oh, blackberries. Okay. The grapes are more viney, you know? They, like, climb things. Blackberries are nummy, though. Palm fronds. Ginger. Do we have any banana trees around here? Grass? Sure. Harvest the grass. Why not? I thought we would need some of the grass for the, uh... For the, for the raft to, like, build the sail on it or whatever, but I guess maybe you could use, like, palm fronds or banana leaves or something for that as well. It's coconut. Are these? Bamboo. We do need more bamboo. There we go. Harvest banana leaves. Climb that tree. Give me some leaves. Oh, you don't even climb it. I might just hack away at it. That's fine. That works. I don't remember how many we needed. We really need to take a nap, though. I'm going to go to the shipwreck lagoon or whatever first, I think, and then take a nap. I was kind of hoping this would make, like, one big loop. Oh, an unidentified tree? Eat it. <laughs> Take a bite out of the tree, see what it is. Didn't even... 
anything off of it. Oh, almonds. Sure, harvest those two. I don't know where any of these things like really grow naturally, but this seems like a wild mix of edible plants to have all at one location. Oh, okay, this place looks fancy. What are the chances that we meet like another person around here? Nautilus shell? Can we just find like a pre built shelter in the ship? Some random driftwood. And a hieroglyphic? What? Is there a hieroglyphic on here? Can I break it? Um, <laughs> did, did we do something we weren't meant to do? <laughs> that sound was not very reassuring. Was it the waterfall that was glowing? No. I'm sure it's fine. of fish here wait why am i doing this i need to go I need to go sleep is what i need to do a mullet come on jump damn it okay we're getting very sleepy i understand okay we'll leave we're done spearing the fish but that seems to be the limit on how far we can go We've explored the whole island more or less. Obviously not every nook and cranny, but enough to have an idea of everything we can collect. So presumably there's no way for us to actually build a shelter here until we get to the next island. Which if that's the case, then we probably don't want to set up our home here. There's a monkey. Hold on, get up. How do I befriend them? Can I give them like bananas or blackberries or something? Hello. Chimp. Wait, did I tell it to shoo? I hope I didn't tell it to shoo. Did I? This your social motto. Spend time with friends, even if they are imaginary or primates. Oh, I didn't mean to tell you guys to leave. Hold on. Come back. Oh, the only option is to shoo? What if I, like... Can I hold the berries or something and see... If they'll, if they'll eat it or whatever? I don't know. Fruits. You guys, like... Like blackberries? Grab. Wait, what am I... What is this? What is... I thought I was grabbing... The blackberries from my inventory. Uh, never mind. I don't know what's going on there. Well then fine, I'll just <laughs> eat a starfruit in front of the chimpanzee or whatever and... <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate that, right? There you go. Suck that chimp. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we're going to be able to befriend these these monkeys right now. Maybe we need something else to be able to do that. Sleep on ground. Let's get our energy level back up. Then I think our goal should be getting an axe and then working afterwards to build the raft. Food doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. Between fish and the overabundance of fruit all over the place, I think we're good there. Is it possible for us to get, like, an imaginary friend at some point? For our social need, or... 
Is our social need just going to stay where it is? It doesn't seem to be going down. Oh, <laughs> I think the monkeys were interested in us. I want to build them like a little food bowl or something to befriend them. I really don't want to shoo them. I just want to say hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he liked being told to F off. No, we're just getting negative relationship with them. Okay, let's stop stop messing with the with the chimps. Nautilus shell. Is there any like regular clam shells? Yeah, that's what we need. We needed either five or ten, I don't remember though. Unknown bush. Identify. What are the chances it's another somewhat po wait, what? Why'd you just do the shrug? Why are you shrugging? Identify it. I guess I couldn't like pathfind to it, even though we were standing on top of it. Oh, that looks edible. Raspberries, maybe? Yeah, okay. Harvest. Your drink's almost gone? You're drinking it too fast then, love. <laughs> Did you do another blended one or just straight mudslide this time? I still have over half of mine. What? I said... Oh, oh my god. I literally just took a drink, Lily. <laughs> Melee attack just redeemed hydrate. There. Um, I said, did you make another blended mudslide? Or did you just do, like, the straight mudslide this time, love? If we go back home now, we'll collect any, like, I think we're good on driftwood. We'll maybe collect a couple more banana fronds as we go around. I want to go back home because that's where our fire is. Because I want to see if we can cook any of these fruits that we got. <clears throat> and then, of course, we need to start working on making some of the other stuff, like the... The thingy. Uh, the axe. I still don't really know what the axe is for, but... It's gotta be useful, right? It's in the game. They wouldn't just put it in there for nothing, I don't think. For some reason, our room level is going down. You would think that would, like... Since we're still outside, maybe it's because it's darker out. I guess that would make sense. Blended one? I, mean, I kind of figured it seems like it would be better blended, but you never know. So how are we going to increase our mechanic skill? Wonder, is there a way for us to see our skills? Like, have we started gaining anything in it? Moving under personal info. Chimp minus two. Oops. No job. Skills? No. Our mechanical... We, we haven't gained anything under mechanical yet. Okay. Good. So... So nothing we've done has increased our mechanical skill. That's... That's excellent. God, the loading times, though. I mean, it's a Sims games on the PS2. I kind of expected as much, but still. This was a relatively late PS2 game. I think it came out in 2007 or something like that. So I'm wondering if it came out for anything else. Like the... I almost said like the Switch. Like the, the Wii or 360, PS3, something like that. Create a crew sim. Exploring the environment... Crafting weather ahoy? Oh. There can be bad weather as well. There's also apparently tribal stuff in the game. That was in the uh in the the book there. The instruction manual. 
Are there any shells here? Like normal shells? Oh, they're stone. I could see stone being handy for some stuff. Oh, another hieroglyphic. Okay. We'll definitely keep picking those up. I mean, there's got to be something, right? <laughs> like, it makes that noise. If we collect enough of them, maybe something happens. Or maybe something's already happened and I just haven't figured it out yet. I don't know. Goal, though, is ten of these. We're at seven. Should be eight. Is that another one? That might be another one right there. I think there's another one up there, too. Oh, it's another bottled message. Sure, we'll pick it up. Why not? Waiting for one of them to be about car insurance. Got a treasure map piece. Oh. Uh, put away. We'll keep it. Are there no other clam shells? A Nautilus shell. I keep, oh wait, give banana. Uh oh, maybe we didn't have any bananas in our inventory whenever we tried to interact with them before. And that's why we could only tell them to, to shoo. Um, I would like to chat with the chimp, please. Is he open to chat since I gave him a banana? So bananas are for friends, not for us. This chat is going exceedingly well, I see. Cool. Okay, it did actually go well. What's wrong? Respond? Was that a good interaction or? Uh, entertain? Or look at us, professional jugglers. He liked that. Let's go. Can I name him? What's his name? What's the chimp's name? Um, Chin Chinsy. C H I N C Y Chinsy Chinsy the chimp, obviously. Um, Chinsy, you get another banana because you're my bestest friend in the whole world. <laughs> and I can chat with you again. So wait, do we just have to stand here while he eats the entire banana? <laughs> yeah, tell the tell the tell the chimp all about ghosts, man. Still can't tell if that's going well or <laughs> not. The only actual like positive sign I've seen so far has been whenever we gave him the bananas. So maybe if we just feed them a shit ton of bananas, they'll they'll befriend us. That's the trick. Anything else? I'm sure there was. Anything else in here that we missed, though? I mean, we need a lot of stuff to build. Not like a lot of different ingredients, but just a high amount of things to build the raft, right? So it might be worth grabbing some more things while we're here. Under special? Raft. Oh, it's palm fronds we need, and I'll the other one, but we need 30 vines, and we get vines from here. Vines, bamboo, and palm fronds. This is rattan. Not even what I needed. Well, we're already collecting it. Might as well finish. Vines. That's what I wanted to collect. More vines, please. No, not you. Not the poke berries. None of this. Unknown bush. Please be something edible. That does not look edible. That looks bad. We're... Oh no, it's Garana. Okay. 
It looked like it was, I don't know, just a random brown chunk of something, so I didn't expect it to go well for us. Apparently it's fine. I think we need like 30 bamboo or something too. I don't remember how much exactly, but it was definitely a lot. Fast forward comes in clutch, let's go. We're very hungry. How do we have to eat? Can't cook our fish right now because we don't have our fire. We could probably build a fire here, but I'd rather just go back home and do that. 23, 28, 18, 16, 25. So the star fruits seem like the best thing to eat raw. So the medium fish are pretty good raw too, but I'd rather save them for, for cooking. Chewing a bit of ginger helps freshen your breath, and that is something everyone can root for. Rana seeds acts as a natural stimulant, giving early man a way to stay alert while hammering bigger rocks with smaller rocks. Gives us energy. Okay, let's eat a, uh, a star fruit. Curious if we can cook these things. I'm sure there's some interesting recipes you can make later on once you... Unlock, like, actual stoves and stuff. Long beans? That sounds nutritious. I think I've heard of long beans before. I've definitely never had one, though. Uh, sure, eat the random banana since it's on the ground. We'll keep the rest of them for our friends, but we can eat that one. That's not where I wanted to go. That was a waste of time. Somehow I made a big circle. I wanted to go back to where we were when we first started. First, the first uh, island, not island, beach. I just missed the loading screen. I wanted to see it happen again, so <laughs> figured we'd go through it a couple extra times, you know? Let's try not to get turned around this time. Straight forward. Is that another hieroglyph? It is. Pick that thing up. Maybe if we get enough of them, we can like, figure out what they say. Where's this go? Your beach, okay. Then this is Shipwreck Lagoon. So this must be where we started. Through the bramble, sadly, which... Yeah. Isn't very good for us or our clothing, but it's the only way to get to first beach, though. Then I guess we have no choice. That's where our, our beginnings of a shelter is. By beginnings of a shelter, I mean literally just a fire and a tiki torch. But our crafting bench is here, too, and that's that seems important. As far as I can tell, there's nowhere at either of the other two places we can even build the crafting bench. So we kind of have to go back and forth through here. Wait, were there always random plants here? Another bottled message. Sure, why not? Maybe it'll be another piece of a treasure map. Dear consumer, thank you for applying for the Moneywell computer rebate. Unfortunately, we can't process your application at this time because we don't want to pay you any money. Please resubmit and allow four to six months for processing. I mean, fair, yeah. Oh no, don't look in the bottle. Cancel. Just put it away. Aim. Crafting bench. There we go. That's better. We're just gonna put it down? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why put it in our inventory? Our infinite pockets when we can just throw it on the ground. Can I make... 
the axe. I can. Your things to cleave list will get shorter and shorter once you make a shell axe, so chop to it. Uh, okay, sewing kit. That's what the other thing is. Twine and softwood. Well, currently we have neither of those things. So cooking a coconut lets us drink it. What would cooking, say, some blackberries do for us? Cook meal. Can we cook a meal on a dead fire? Oh, it just automatically relights at first. Okay. That's actually pretty handy. It's loading. Give it a second. Um, what do we have more? We have a bunch of raspberries. What happens if you cook a cucumber? That doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't, I don't know if that's something people ever do, but made fruit juice. It will satisfy 51 hunger, six energy and negative two bladder. What? S 51 hunger just for some fruit juice. That seems really freaking good. Um, okay. Well, I can't like keep eating it. So I guess just clean up. Oh, this is our cleaning up. That's our garbage pile. That's... <laughs> okay. Um, we're still a bit hungry. Cook another meal. So that's what happens when we cook berries and citrus. What happens if we... What happens if we do actually cook the cucumber? Is it just like a salad? It doesn't make much sense, but neither does fruit juice from... You know, berries and fire, so. Roast veggie strips. 56 hunger, 8 energy, negative 4 bladder. Nice, okay. So yeah, food is actually super easy in this game. Let's go ahead and declare this our home. I'm just curious what it'll do for us. Maybe that will unlock the ability for us to make walls or something. Oh wait, we can, <laughs> we can sign up for a job? Our job is, uh, I mean, I guess for now, c collecting resources. Wait, did that change our job? Personal info. What does the job do for us then? I mean, I get like, it doesn't work the same as other sims for jobs, but, right, there's no money as far as I can tell. Collectors collect and stockpile non-food resources like wooden vines. Once a day. Do we get some kind of bonus for completing our job then? I wonder if this is maybe like if you have more than one sim of like telling them what they should be doing. I wonder if that's more what this is about. Oh, harvest wood. Of course, because now we have the ax, so we can harvest wood. Well, we need more fronds for the thingy. We'll go to sleep in a second. What does what does harvesting the wood give us? Oh, I was kind of hoping that would unlock something for us, but I guess not. All right, well, we definitely need to go to sleep. Wait, bananas are tools? Does that count as a tool? That's weird. Anyway, sleeping that then. Uh, sleep on ground. And then we'll see about making a bed when we get back up, maybe. I mean, this is our home now, apparently. Can we interact with the parrot? I think as soon as we get up, the parrot just automatically leaves. 
So probably not. My god, the comfort of this thing must suck. I mean, our comfort is going up. Like, our actual comfort need. But I mean, just how slow our sleep needs going up. Our energy need, whatever. So... Crafting bench. What did we need to craft the bed? Or the clothes, for that matter. Like, if I wanted to get a new shirt. Chimp magnet shirt, male and female. Motive benefits, none. Oh, you need higher creativity for certain things. This is what we use banana leaves for, though. The primitive. Alter a la leaf. Functional foliage sash. And then chimp magnet again. No, let's make the chimp magnet, man. Fired by the world around you, yet limited by your lack of style, you can create this banana leaf shirt to amaze absolutely nobody. It may not be the most attractive garment on the island, but the chimps won't care. Sure, why not? We could use a new shirt. Ours is a little, a little tattered, a little torn. Made some clothing. May use fashion and grooming or inventory to wear it. If this can be dyed, you will need to dye it in fashion and grooming. Now the real question is though, is it going to get destroyed as soon as we go through the brambles like our, like our normal shirt did? It's probably, yeah, okay. Where? Wait, did it make two of them? Or did the game just like give us one of them and I missed it? Yeah, we do have two of them. Huh. Oh well, I guess. Interesting look. Um, okay. So do we build the bed from our plans, maybe? Not from the crafting bench. That's goals. That's not what I wanted. We're back. Plans. Bed. What about roof? We have that unlocked for some reason. We have everything we need to make it. So. Or just put it down then. So is this just like a little tiny... Where's the actual roof? Oh, wait, we still have to build it, of course. I forgot. Once you put the plans down, you still got to, like, go over and build it. So I'm guessing, like, now if some sort of storm were to happen, we'd be a little bit safer here. Good job. Your sim has finished every goal from this page. This is the best way to earn rewards and learn to make new things. New plan. Bamboo fishing pole. New goal, survival is one thing, but making a home is another. Accomplishing these will help your sim live better. You plan shack shelters. Light the home torch done. This is now your home. Use the torch to manage the location. Okay. Um. So probably under plans then. I'm assuming this is what we'll actually use the wood for. Shelter plans. Barely shack, lean-to hut, compact bungalow, square, closed, open. Okay, well I feel like we should go for the lean-to to start, so we just need vines and banana leaves. That's our big improvement on shacks, but they are still vulnerable to weather with only one wall. This one by three shelter is quick and easy to construct. So wait, shacks are barely suitable as shelters. This one room 4x5 shelter is a simple basic shelter. Oh. So bungalow is the first one that's actually like good. But lean to is better apparently than these ones, even though these ones require a lot more. 
Yeah. Like, this one requires everything the lean-to hut does. The barely shack requires everything the lean-to hut does, except driftwood instead of bamboo. And then it also includes palm fronds. So you think this would be better? We'll keep the rain off from one side. Okay, well then, yeah, screw it then. We're going straight to the lean-to hut. What about walls? We can just build, like, our own custom shack. I mean, that's fine. Well, can we build bigger roofs now instead of just the one? I don't really understand what the roof does. I guess we should have checked the description. Mini size roof is perfect for protecting supplies or curling up underneath while the enormity of your predicament washes over you. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Probably eager to set up a shutter. Might as well treat yourself to the biggest one possible. Well, if that was available a moment ago, I might have. Um, God, I already forget what we needed. I'm kind of an idiot. I think it was vines and... Was it bamboo or was it was it banana? Banana. Vine and banana. Okay. That we need. Both of which we can get from the brambles. Uh, every All of our needs are actually pretty decent except for bathroom. As soon as I said that, it went down farther. Okay. Back into the menu. Use what is hopefully infinite toilet paper. King Lufa Lava. Once a rule of Ari surveyed, which is a fairly large area given its abnormally acute vision. What are the hieroglyphs? Rock fragment is covered in cryptic engravings, which at the moment seems indecipherable. Okay. That's something we probably need to work on over time. Wait. Oh, good. It's under the tools. Oh, boy. I was worried there for a moment, man. I was like, did we only get to use the bathroom one time and then we have to find a toilet? <laughs> Could we not use, like, banana leaves or something? That seems like it would be a pretty decent replacement for toilet paper, right? Seems legit to me, at least. Now, here's the real question. When we run through the brambles again, are we instantly going to destroy our new shirt? I hope not. Of course, if it does, then I guess we just don't worry about making clothes until later. Like, good clothes. Doesn't seem to bother him that much, having messed up clothing anyways. Oh? Oh, yourself? I can... Oh, what? Vines? Yes. Please and thank. I don't remember how many we needed, but if we just collect, like, 20 or something, then... We should be fine. The new Jurassic World movie's coming out July 2nd, 2025. Hell yeah, love. You excited? Wait, what was the other thing we needed? God, I don't remember anything. Uh, we needed vines. I think we already, we already had the driftwood or bamboo, whichever it was. So maybe it was palm fronds? I guess it could have been banana fronds, though. But, okay. You know what? We'll just check again. Otherwise, I'm not going to remember. I wish we had plans for a crafting bench that didn't require, like, somewhere in the world to already exist. Because I'd much rather move to one of the other beaches. The other beaches seem much more useful. We only needed four driftwood, three vines. So we have everything we need to make a bed. I don't think we unlocked any new tools. Besides the fishing pole, I guess, yeah. Which we can't do yet, because we need a mechanical skill of three anyways. Maybe there will be more shaving creams. True. I hope there is, love. I hope you're able to get them this time. Banana leaves, yes, okay. Wait, did, did you end up getting all the other ones? From the last time they did the, the thing? can't remember. Not sure. Eat the banana that's on the ground. 
Oh, wait. Are we even hungry? Oh, yeah, we are a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. And harvest some leaves. I don't remember how many we needed. Again, even though we just looked. But I figure if we collect all of them from these three trees that I can see here. Ah, screw it. If we have the the energy and whatnot, we'll just do all four of them that are right here. Wait, are you not? Oh, we just wasted a bunch of time. I thought you were harvesting. Why are you not harvesting? You probably can't figure out how to get there. It's kind of dumb sometimes. Did something just come out of that? Oh, it was a chimp. Hello, chimp. Here, buddy. Your banana. Um, name. What's this chimp's name? You do have them all? Good. We named the last name Chintzy. <laughs> what should this chimp be named? Uh, Noel. I have no idea why. That's just the first thing that popped in my head. You're now Noel. Enter. So, Noel, um, would you like to be entertained? I'm a really good juggler. Uh, he, he enjoyed it. Or sh they. She, whatever, uh, respond. Me too, Noel. Me too, dude. Let's get some leaves. Can't figure out how to get there. Of course you can't. God, our energy's going down quick. Har harvesting? Harvesting these chimps. Entertaining these chimps is what I meant to say. Is that everything? That's everything. Uh, bananas. I wonder what happens if we cook the banana. Because, like, not banana, but plantains are definitely a real thing that people, like, grill. I'm sure there are, like, grilled bananas too. Question of the day, you discover a cheat code for real life. What three codes would you have on your cheat sheet? Infinite health, instant language learning, rewind time. Um in infinite health for sure. Uh rewind time would definitely be like one of the top picks, right? But also like infinite wealth, you know? Like money cheats. That would have to be one. Or, like, if you think of, say, like, uh, oh, God, what it's called. Um, Grand Theft Auto. If you think of, like, Grand Theft Auto, some of those cheats would be really fun. Like, the ability to have flying cars. Oh, that's true. You could get infinite money with rewind time. You could just cheat your way to it. <laughs> But, like, being able to make your car fly or be able to, like, drive it on water or whatever, I feel like that would be pretty cool. Not necessarily the most handy thing, but if you already have infinite health, infinite wealth, then, you know. Or, I guess, the ability to rewind time, yeah. Because, yeah, you could just, like, wait until you see what the... Whatchamacallit what the uh lottery numbers are or something and then win it big and then you're basically at infinite wealth already <laughs> you'd rather drive it off a cliff and walk away <laughs> that's why you just got to do both man you get the uh the flying car cheat you fly your car off a cliff and then you crash it into the ground and then just walk away without a single scratch on you you know really throw people for a loop Though I have no idea what the hell is going on. Optijag, hello, sir. So happy to see that you're alive. Did you sleep in again? Or <laughs> have your uh, three alarm clocks plus cell phone been, been working for you? Okay. So we got the lean-to. But the lean-to is not, like, closed in, is it? Can we rotate it? We can. So is this the open side? I think this is the open side. How do we rotate things? Oh, you can't, like, rotate 45 degrees. That sucks. 
Well, can I like line it up like that? Is that okay? No. Game does not like that. I guess we'll just Shocker put it here next to this then. Just I already Rotom hate the look of our. Oh no, it is RE4. backwards. <laughs> oh no. Well, can I like tear it down? Oh fuck it, we're just building it. Whatever. The four alarm combo has been going well. That's good, man. <laughs> I'm happy for you. More votes on RE4. Nice, nice. Oh, you weren't here earlier whenever I said it, my guy. But I did end up getting um, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So when we eventually roll that game. Okay, I'm assuming I'm refusing to build because I'm tired. So can I just lay down for a bit then? I guess. Sleep on ground. Oh, wait, we can build an actual bed. Well, I guess I'd want to put my bed in the shelter once I get it built. My lean-to, so... Oh, we're very hungry all of a sudden, too. Okay. It's fine. Everything's great. No worries. Yeah, it was uh, on sale on Steam today. So if anybody's been looking for that game, then now is a good chance to pick it up. I think it was only like $10 after taxes. 10, 10 something. It's like 9 something before tax. So yeah, I was like, well, that's super cheap. I don't know when it's going to be going on that kind of sale again. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up now and then have it for the future. Even if we don't end up rolling on it anytime soon, I would rather play that version whenever like, I play through it, even if it's just for myself anyway, so... Yeah, might as well grab it. There we go. I'm so sad that I built this backwards. Wait, does that mean this is fully built then? Now, what do the shacks look like then? Ah, oh, I don't know, man. Kind of not happy with our <laughs> choice of lean-to here. Especially unhappy that we put it backwards. It's also not what I expected whenever I, I selected lean-to, you know? A lean-to, I, I, I don't know, I expect it to lean. <laughs> but I guess not. Okay. I'm going to build... Wait, did I select the wrong thing last time? Because this looks exactly the same as the hut, does it not? Or as the, the lean-to? Hold on, maybe I did. Maybe I selected the wrong thing. Lean-to hut. No. They're just the same damn thing. The barely shack and the hut. Okay, well... Whatever. Um, bed? We can at least put our bed in there. Improvised cot. Presumably we can put this in a shelter, right? Nope. No, you can't. Can I put it under the roof at least? What's the point of the shelter if you can't even build it? I'm so confused, man. Okay, well, maybe it's just because of where I'm standing. Hold on. Let's just move out of the way. Maybe we're, like, standing on it in a weird place or something. No, not use. Close. Plans. Bed. Improvised cot. Hey, give me the good view, for Christ's sakes. Oh, so it's fine that way. It's just not fine that way. Well, that's fine then. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want it in the lean-to. It wouldn't make sense to have it be completely unprotected shack furniture and a new crafting bench we can actually build a crafting bench now shit dude i don't know why like it just feels right for me to hit circle for all of the crafting stuff but that's not how you do it at all i'm guessing that's a table the crafting bench yeah 
Shack table, standard shack table, large shack table. So is any table a crafting table? At this point, nothing is off the table. That's because the table isn't built yet. And that's very funny. Um, okay. Can we make better beds? We can. But that looks much larger. And it doesn't actually have any motive benefits. It's just larger, so no. Seating. This is a level three one, the shack sofa. So sure, why not? Let's uh I wish this was just the default view. Put that like right on the other side of the wall here. That way we can just like look out over the ocean while we're while we're chilling. No new fire pits. No new tools. Better shelters? Nope. Better roofs? No, it's not gonna have any better roofs. And the walls are still just like... Oh, I guess maybe that's the difference between like a shack and a hut. The hut has a roof, whereas the shacks maybe don't. I guess that would kind of make sense. Okay, well, I guess we just need to build a table then and see does the table work as a crafting bench. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, but we need a mechanical skill of two, which... Wait, do we have that now? It's not in red anymore. So wait, if we... Yeah. Bro, okay, so it looks like we have everything we need to make the raft. We just need to collect some bamboo and some vine. Sick. Okay, well that's easy enough. Well then screw all this, let's just cook some food because we are very hungry, collect some bamboo and vine and go build our freaking raft and get off this place. Go to the next island, see what's over there. I know my back itch is really bad for some reason. Ugh. Uh, light fire again? Did we fail at lighting the fire? I mean, maybe we shouldn't have built it quite so close to the water, but, you know. Nobody said I was smart. I want to try cooking the bananas. We have a bunch of them. Wait, drink? What, is it just banana juice? Clean up. Cook another meal. We have some fish. I guess we could cook some fish. Cream of 32. That's probably the best one. We haven't tried cooking any spices, I guess. What happens if we just cook some straight ginger? Does that do anything for us? Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Your ginger juice? Ugh. I mean, it seemed pretty filling. Okay, let's cook our let's cook our actual fish. Let's get our hunger filled up, filled up, and then we'll go collect our stuff and get to the next island before we end tonight. Ooh. Done. 67 hunger not bad not bad but honestly like with how much easier it is to collect fruit than it is fish i feel like just making the fruit juice is a lot better idea than oh wait our hut's on fire um can i put it out Oh no, everything's on fire. Extinguish. <laughs> um, oh no. Oh god. Why? I guess maybe because the fire was too close to the 
shelter or whatever we don't really need the roof anymore now that we have an actual shelter anyways and clean up around here a little bit make it look a little nicer uh sleep maybe we can actually get our sleep all the way full now that we have more or less a proper bed Fun motive. This is your fun motive. You can't laugh about being stranded on an island. What can you laugh about? Make music and play games to have fun. New plans. Music shaker and the sand buddy. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I'm assuming the sand buddy is the imaginary friend that we can use to get our social skills up. Um, special plans? No, it's not a special plan. Is under tools? No. Where the hell is the sand buddy? It wouldn't be under tables. That wouldn't make any sense. Is it under clothing? <laughs> Can we just make like little clothes for a for a dude? No. Oh, leisure. Okay, I didn't even see this was highlighted now. You need poke berries, grass, and coconuts. <laughs> Bruh, that's definitely gonna be an imaginary friend of some sort. Okay, and it does get our social need up. That's nice. Well, we needed, uh, what do we need? Bamboo and something. Oh man, I don't remember. For the raft, was it bamboo and palm fronds? Now, if the game had much quicker loading time, it would actually be, like, pretty good. But with how long it takes for everything to load, it's kind of a lot. <laughs> Vines. Vines are the other thing we need. Okay. Hopefully there's things on the next island for us to make our, our buddy with. Well, here's some poke berries. I know we needed that. I think grass was the other thing we needed, maybe. Poke berries. I know we needed cherries to make the music thingy. Boy, why is my memory so bad? What do we need? What options do we have? We've never looked, now I'm just curious. Change your music, invert cameras. Enable free will? No, enable free will instantly. It's probably just let us move the screen. Yeah, no, that's all fine. Oh God, okay. Yep, that's all fine. Sure, keep my changes, that's fine. Does that mean like I'll start doing stuff instantly? No, okay, well, must only be for like miscellaneous sims, the sims you're not controlling, if we had set up more than one to be uh, shipwrecked here. Plans. Special. God game. Raft. We need 30 vines. We need a lot more vines. And then for the sand buddy, we just need grass. Okay. The grass and a bunch of vines. That I can't figure out how to path vine to. Seriously? They're literally right in front of you, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? And now you can figure it out. Good job. How's our stats? Doing okay? Our social needs really low. Well, I'm going to make you a sand buddy here soon. As soon as we get onto the next island, I'll make you a sand buddy. There's all the vines we need. Might as well collect a couple more since we're going past. the 
there was grass over in the next section. We can grab some grass from there, because I don't think this grass is harvestable, no. Your beach, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, if we see some of our, like, chimp friends, we could probably hang out with them a little bit, too. Entertain them a little bit, talk to them a little bit, whatever. That might make them, or that will increase our, our needs a little bit. Plenty of grass over here, though. I have no idea how much we need for the friend. I imagine, like, 20-ish will be more than enough, though. There we go. That should be more than enough. I just don't want to build the friend here because I don't know if we can take it with us after we leave. I feel like we should craft the raft first. And then, if need be, we can just build it on the other side instead of here. As long as we're not too angry. No, we're good. Okay, explore. Wait, are you... You're unwilling to explore because you're tired. Why do you suck? Um, try getting some rest or building a better bed. Well, we can just sleep on the ground, I guess. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it'll get the job done. Wait, how much energy do we need to use the raft? Was it just unwilling because of our social need, I wonder? I know like in some of the other Sims games, if your Sim's pissed off for any reason, they'll just refuse to do all kinds of things. I'm hoping it is just an energy thing and not a social need thing. I really don't want to have to craft another one of the sand buddies. Okay, yeah, we're good. Now, do we control this at all, or does he just do it himself? I imagine we'll just warp to the next island. That would make the most sense to me. Hey! Okay. New book! Your son has found the log of the final voyage of Beard Beard of the Pirate. <laughs> More goals for your sim. Okay. This new stuff? Are you hibiscus? Can we make teas? Kinds of hibiscus. I seem kind of iffy about putting my thing down here now, though, because what if I don't like this beach? What if I like the next beach more? <laughs> but no, we, we have to just pick one. Oh, this is a nice little area. This area looks like it was made for a home. Can we move this rock at some point, though, and, like, explore over there? I don't know. Let's... Wait, what are you? Pineapples, that's cool. Yeah, well, it's called a sand buddy, so I feel like we need to put it over here in the sand. That was the wrong button again. Yeah, plans. I'm area for a house fire, yes. <laughs> hey, we got it put out, man. We just lost our roof. Our actual shelter was fine. Very coconut. Yeah, I don't think it's movable. Just based off of like this. Although I say that there was the thing like if we went into the inventory, you can do like hand mode or whatever. So maybe you can grab it and move it after you place it using that. There we go. Can't even tell the difference. Um, let's go straight for the kiss. Wait, can we have a bad relationship with our sand buddy? <laughs> you just took the head off? <laughs> Bro. Was that a good interaction or a bad interaction? Oh, well, I'm crying, so... <laughs> uh, maybe just chat. Is our social need going up? It is. Slowly, but it is. Um, uh, compliment it. 
just keep chatting. Can we tell him about Noel? Wow, you really don't get much social interaction from a sand buddy, do you? Stay on fast forward and keep clicking chat, I guess. I don't... Wow, this, this really sucks, man. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I could have told you that. I have a lot of experience with it, eh? Uh, here, cheer up the sand, buddy. I mean, that seemed... Like, it gave more up symbols over on the side, I feel like. Uh, maybe not, actually. Um, going for the kiss again? I mean, it didn't seem to give us a negative interaction that time. We didn't start crying. Okay, well, where's the where's the chimp? Hello. I don't want to harvest the hibiscus. I want to give banana. You guys didn't, like, follow me from the other island, did you? No, that's too bad. Kind of hoping to keep Chinsy and Noel around. And here, give you a banana, too. You can all be friends. We'll chat to the chimp. Maybe that'll give us more social interaction. Um, I mean, maybe. Kind of hard to tell if it really did anything for us or not. Can we move stuff? That's plans. That's not inventory. That was the wrong button. Inventory. Grab mode. Aha! So you can move it around. Okay. That's nice. But... I'm guessing you can't put it in your inventory? It looks like we actually have to go in and move it to... Wait, what? Oh no, okay, okay, okay. That just cancelled entirely. That's fair. Uh, let's do a tiny bit of exploring before we get off. I'm just curious, like, where I would b build my house. There's definitely, like, I feel like this was a very early example of a survival game, 2007. I'm sure there was probably survival, like, you know, island survival type of stuff games, not survival like Resident Evil. I'm sure there were games like that that existed, but I can't think of any of them. My point being, this is all a long way of saying there's much better survival experiences now that I don't think I would feel the need to play The Sims 2 Castaway. <laughs> But maybe back in the day it would have been really cool. Okay, we got the hygiene need, which I'm assuming would be the last need, right? But if we got the hygiene need here, does that mean there's somewhere here we can actually bathe? Wait, does it still work? It does. Can I dance? There we go. That should increase our fun need, right? Yeah, that actually does a really good job. Much better than chatting with our th our dude. Okay, I think that's enough dancing. Let's uh <laughs> use the toilet real quick. Don't mind me, radio. Oh, there we go. Use toilet paper. Guess we can't use it that close to the radio. Got to keep that area pristine. That's fair. Oh, a cave? Or anything back here? Indigo leaves? I'm assuming that's something we would use to dye stuff with. Dark cave at that. So maybe we need to like make lighting at some point. Like a torch or something. In order to, to better explore the dark cave. Oh. Obsidian tools. That's fancy. You know, this isn't nearly as dark as I thought it was going to be. There's stones. There's some hieroglyphs on the wall. I wonder if that interacts with the ones that like we picked up in any way another sculpture 
Oh, we can actually swim? Oh, that's cool. Just stone. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It popped up for a second. Steep passage. Do not have enough energy. I mean, that's fair. It'd probably take a bunch of energy to get up there. Can we just take a nap here in this dark, damp cave? How are all of our needs? Um, actually not terrible outside of sleep and to some degree hygiene, but I mean... Oh, I'm hunger, I guess. You know what? Honestly, nothing's all that great. <laughs> we've had fun, and we've recently used the bathroom. That's about it. Everything else is kind of trash, but we do also live in, like, an island after crashing our ship, so... To be expected, I guess. Wait, could you... Can we not sleep here? I mean, fair if we can't, but it looks like there's plenty of space to sleep, man. No, okay, you just <laughs> you just decided you didn't want to for some reason. Maybe you were too tired to go to bed. How did the parrot get in here? <laughs> I understand the parrot following us around all over the place whenever we're outside, but... You follow me into the into the cave? Okay, get up. Let's see where the secret passage goes. Can't fast forward when we're running. That's fair, I guess. Oh, that pauses time. Interesting. Oh, explore. I wonder if there's any locations where, like, you need a certain level of skill to be able to pass it, like, a check, you know? Like, if we didn't have level two or three, whatever strength that we have right now, if we wouldn't be able to make it up this steep passage. Hygiene is, like, taking a dip, but it's to be expected. Some vines. Mangoes. That sounds nice. The thick section of forest. Is there anything else back here? No. Unknown trees. Oh. That's <laughs> that's a creepy rock. Oh, here's another hieroglyph. Hmm. I feel like there has to be more to up here than... Aha, there we go. West River Plains. I say there's no way we just climbed up that hill and it was just a dead end. So I thought maybe since that hieroglyph was right in front of that skull, I thought maybe they were connected in some way, but maybe not. Found the river plains, new plans, better shelters and tools for farm. Ah, oh, we can actually farm? Your sim has found Manuel's big book of survival too. It has more goals for your sim. Sick. Peaches? Okay, yeah, no, I think besides the ridiculous loading times, is this corn? <laughs> there is, there's just corn chilling out here. Besides the ridiculous loading times, I think I would have, uh, enjoyed this game when I was younger. Hell, I think I could enjoy it now, but I'd probably be pretty annoyed by the constant loading. Rope bamboo softwood to make a bridge. I'm curious, like, how the farming works, though. Games like this, they just, they end up hooking me, man. I like survival elements in games. I can't help it. Uh, plans. Since we unlock the hygiene need, do we have plans to build a shower? No, we do not. Rope bridge, rope twine, crafting bench. I wanted to see how the farming works. Since it said something about us. Unlocking plans to, to farm by coming here. 
chicken trap, stone hammer, shell hoe, a chisel. Maybe we can use the chisel to make more... You probably need the chisel, actually, to make, like, obsidian tools, now that I think about it. Rectangular hut. Mansion bungalow. That seems like some endgame stuff right there, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much more... For us to really, like, see here. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty more to do in the game, but... It is basically 3 o'clock. And it feels like doing anything would take more or less forever in the game. It's not, like, I don't feel like it's nearly as grindy as modern day survival games, so I guess it's got that going for it. I'm just curious, as I always am. What is the, uh, how long to beat time? Sims 2 cast away. Ten and a half hours. It's not actually that long, I suppose. Assuming that's the PS2 one. Uh, DS, PC... PS2, PlayStation Portable, Wii. Um, I don't know. Does that does that count for this? This area is so much bigger. So wait, does this bridge go back to where we just were? Is that just like a, a different way between the two places? It's like a pretty decent place for a house. Can't seem to cross here. This like... quicksand or something why can we not there's also like an invisible wall right here some really bad geometry that we can't get around there's a chicken a chicken lime then to the east beach i'm assuming the east beach will be as far as we can go without more building and crap Home decorations and more musical instruments. Okay. When I saw home, I got excited. Like, maybe actual home building stuff, but nope. Is that another raft? So, wait, is there a whole other set of islands we can explore? River jungle. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it definitely seems like there's probably a lot you can do in the game. That's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, like I was saying before... I think that's more or less it for us tonight. Don't see myself playing much more of this game, but uh, that's more to do with like just how much time I have to play games than it is to, you know, the actual quality of the game. I do wonder if it would be better on the DS. Even though like the DS, I, you know, probably wouldn't look better. Just having the cartridge format, I wonder if it would be able to load quicker, maybe? I'm not actually sure, man. What were the other options? It was also like PSP. I mean, PC, if it's actually this version of Castaway, would probably work pretty well, but I don't see that being a thing. Um, So maybe the Wii? Did the Wii have faster load times than the PS2, though? I don't think it really did. But anyways, the volcano is so tempting. Getting there is your Sim's new goal. Volcano. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow to hopefully finish up Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights and then start up Dark Cloud. Until then, though, guys, thank you for coming out. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye. Really had some health left there. If you look at the green bar up top, after I got hit, but before it popped up and said, you are dead, it clearly had some health left. So I think this game might be cheating a little bit. I don't know. Uh...